Hello. It is the morning that I am leaving and I thought I would just walk you through really quick what I do in the mornings. So as you may be able to notice, the first thing I do is lay everything out. I like to be able to see what I'm doing. And then I wipe my face down with toner to clean it and then put some moisturizer on that has sunscreen with it. I use a BB cream instead of foundation. I just don't think that I need the full coverage that most foundations give. I use an eyebrow pencil just to fill in and define my eyebrows a little bit. As you can see here, I try to get a little bit of better footage of what I am doing. Um, although, my camera does die right about here. The next thing that I do is I use a little bit of bronzer just to define my cheekbones and my temples. I then go in with a highlighter and a bronzer and use those as eyeshadow. Followed that by a liquid eyeliner and then a pencil eyeliner just to tight line my eyes. I then curl my lashes and I actually use waterproof mascara because I know that I would be crying whenever I say goodbye to my aunt at the airport. I then took my hair out of the twists that I had left in overnight. I comb through my hair with my fingers, I then use the hair serum by Ava NYC just to add shine to my hair and to try and control the frizziness. Playing with my hair some and getting it to where I wanted it, I then added some volumizing spray just to add volume and texture to my hair. Good morning! It is now 6.30 and um we are getting ready to leave i think my aunt's in the shower though so we might be leaving a little bit later than planned <laughs> but um i did my hair got it all nice and uh wavy yeah so i just wanted to dance really quick they're like super thin and stretchy and they're flat on the bottom i don't know what they're called but they're so comfortable because they're so thin they are perfect airplane pants, especially going towards a hot climate because it's going to be cold out here. It's going to be probably cold on the plane. I was cold on the plane last time and um, it's going to be pretty warm. Apparently it's supposed to be pretty reasonable, but still it's going to be really warm <laughs> in Texas. And I am used to the change in temperature, but not so sudden because we usually drive. So it's very, it's much slower. <laughs> Um, granted, it's usually going from Texas to Ohio at Christmas where it's like snowing and the wind is like ice just coming at you. Um, so, I, but I'm really excited. I am, I, I couldn't sleep last night. I um, kept waking up and I ended up just getting up at 527. I wanted to wait till 530 but I kept checking the clock every one minute. 
And so I just decided to get up and go ahead and just get it over with. Um, I'm realizing now that I have a lot of crap I have to take off before um, going through security, but oh well, I could just throw it in a bag and then put it on after I get through security, but why would I ever plan ahead like that? It's not me. Actually, that is me because I plan everything ahead. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing about food yet because I don't really have that much of an appetite, but I am kind of hungry, so I may just wait until I get to the airport and then get something there. Um, I forgot to look online and see what they had, um, what food places they had at the airport at home. They have so much stuff. I mean, they even have like an olive garden, like a fancy Italian restaurant. I don't know, it's nuts. Um, so I don't know what they have here, but I don't know that I'm going to get the time to check, so I might eat a little bit of something. I remembered last night that I have half a piece of cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. It is so good, and I'm like leaving it. I may eat that for breakfast. Um, so, oh yeah, by the way, this video will be coming out in time so I can show you guys the ring, or the item that I mentioned that I got from Peddler Fest. It is a ring, and, um, if you go to CozyMittens.com, K-O-Z-Y, that is where I got this. Um, they had a little shop set up, and it is just, it is a ring recycled from a once fired bullet and they just put a little black Swarovski gem in it. I don't know if I say that right. I forgot to clean it before I left but it's not really that bad. Um, it's just a little bit, the gem's a little bit foggy from I'm guessing the um, glue that she used to put it on, the jewelry glue, epoxy, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't make jewelry. <laughs> But I overheard her telling somebody else, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I am going to drink lots more water because my mouth is very dry, probably from all the nervousness. Um, actually, I was really dehydrated last night, but I was too lazy to get up and get a bottle of water. So I am going to figure out what I'm going to do for breakfast. And I'm going to shove everything in my bag. I pretty much have everything. I need to put my camera in my bag and my purse in my bag. Um, a lot of my backpack is so heavy because it's got my laptop, a couple of books. Can you make a better face? That's not any better. <laughs> 